The deadly school shooting has prompted one major sporting goods retailer to announce major changes to the type of guns it sells and who it will sell guns to. The announcement today by Dick's Sporting Goods has had people talking all day long. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has the story for us live tonight from Southwest Miami Dade. Gary. Well, the young people who have propelled this gun control movement have said that it will grow. Well, it grew today when the nation's largest sporting goods chain came down on the side of outlawing assault rifles. Dick's of Sporting Goods, a Fortune 500 company joining the fray over gun control. The store that sells guns and ammo won't be selling as much now. We were so disturbed and, and, and saddened by what happened in Parkland that we said, we need to do something. On Twitter, Dix announced it will not sell assault rifles, sell no firearms to anyone under 21, will sell no high-capacity ammo magazines, and no bump stocks that make guns fully automatic. After the Sandy Hook school massacre, Dix stopped selling assault rifles, but has now expanded that to include its field and stream stores. Dix will lobby Congress and the states to make its policy law, including a total ban on assault rifles. We just want to graduate. The passion of young people demonstrating for gun control prompted the chain to make a move that it knows might cost it the business of some gun rights advocates. And we concluded that if these kids are brave enough to organize and do what they're doing, then we should be brave enough to take the stand. And that's what we've done. So on the web, mostly positive posts like Dix has a new customer. Thank you for being sane and sensible. But then there was this. I hope your employees enjoy their layoffs when your bottom line is destroyed. But Fred Gutenberg, so whose daughter Jamie was murdered at Stoneman Douglas, called the company a champion. And I couldn't be happier. Thank you. And congratulations, what a step. At a Dixon Coral Springs near the high school, customers were giving the company kudos. Fantastic. I, I'm, I'm glad to see a, a, a company stand up and do the right thing. I like that. I wish the uh, government would <laughs> take that into consideration and be as brave to do that. An act of corporate bravery by Dix, knowing there could be a financial downside. And I talked, however, with a woman just a short while ago who said she came to this Dix in Kendall for the first time ever to buy some items for her grandchildren solely because of the company's announcement uh, earlier today. And she said she will frequent Dix in the future because of that. For now, we're live in Kendall. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.